all you math maniacs out there, it's time for another number-packed episode of Math Homework Helpers! Stick around, we'll be right back! Hmm. With a little help from your friends here on TV. Math homework helpers, it's time, time. For math homework helpers, oh yeah. Math homework helpers, it's time, time. For math homework helpers, oh yeah. Welcome, everyone, to Math Homework Helpers. This is a show where we get to help you with your math homework and give you prizes just for calling in. With us today are two amazing teachers from Pinewood Elementary School. We have the awesome Miss Hake and we have the outstanding Mr. Tang. Thanks for a great introduction, Ollie. Mm -hmm. How are you and Polly doing today? We're doing super great, Mr. Tang. Ollie and I are so excited to start today's show that we thought we would start off with a joke. Mm -hmm. Joke. Joke. That sounds like a great mm -hmm. idea. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Tell us your joke. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold what? on. What? Mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead. All right. How do you keep warm in a cold room? Hmm. I don't know. How do you keep warm in a cold room? You stand in the corner where it's always 90 degrees. <laughs> Like an angle, you get it? Oh, I get it. You guys get that? 90 degrees. I like it. A bad one, cute. guys. Oh All my. right, let's get the show started. If this is your first time watching, you should know that we have prizes. All you have to do is call into the show with a math question, and then you'll have a chance to win one of four very cool prizes from our math homework helpers, Puck a Pick a Prize Wall. Puck the Mrs. Prize. Hey, what are our prizes for today? This week's prizes are a very cool water bottle, a fantastic calculator, earbuds, because we all need earbuds, and this adorable highlighter. I love it. Hey, don't forget. I want. I I, won't I thought forget. they were forgetting me. I'm not going to forget. Don't forget that after we help our callers with mm -hmm. their math problem, we'll drop the puck on the puck to pick a prize ball, and the caller will win whatever prize the puck lands on. Wah! Yeah. Wow. Wah! Yeah. Wah! That sounds great. Let's mm -hmm. get things moving and go to the phones. The number to call is 410-494-1459. That number again is 410-494-1459. Ali, who is our first caller of the day? Oh, you guys ready to do this? I, I am. Are I we ready so. to rock this? Here we go. All right, so we need a caller. Yeah, so we'll get a caller. We'll answer the problem. You guys ready? Ready. Okay, ready. on the phone now, we have Aya from Norwood. She's in third grade. Hello? Hi. 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 How are you doing? Good. All right. Hey, we're so glad you called. Thanks for calling. Do you have a math problem? Yeah. Oh, you, you called the right people. All right. We are ready. What is your math problem today? It's um the the angel for four baskets while picking. He has 32 apples equally divided between them. It's part A. Okay, so which part equations a. below help you answer uh, how to how many apples were in each basket? Okay, so tell me what do you know about the problem? That it is Division. It, it's division, absolutely. What else do you know? What, what, what facts do you know about it? How many baskets are there? How many apples? There is four baskets. Here they come. Up. Up. Maybe Here not. Here we go. Hi. Come on, baskets. There, there we go. Is. Four baskets. <gasps> I'm going to represent those four, four baskets. baskets. Those are beautiful baskets. Okay. Circle baskets. And we have how many apples? 32. 32. Ooh, 32. So what would that equation look like to you? Um, there's actually three answers. Are you uh, okay? Well, let's figure out what what it is first and then we'll go back and we'll look at see if the answers would fit in. Okay. Okay. So okay. what would you want to do to to solve this? 
So maybe you can write your four baskets. Okay. We have our four baskets, and what should we do? Maybe you should, like, put one dot in each and then write it down. Okay, so we can do each one of these. So what is that? That's, that's 32, and we're dividing yes. that into four different baskets? Mm-hmm. And we yeah. keep going? Okay, so if I did that, 2, 4, yes, 6, so. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I'm going to keep going? Yeah. Is that the most efficient way, or do you know an easier way to do that? That seems to tough. To do the equation? Uh, to, to, solve, to solve the division problem. Do you, any, do you have any facts that might go with it? Facts, um, good idea. If you said you had four baskets with so many in each basket, it would equal 32 apples. Could you solve that? Yeah, definitely. You could. Okay, Surely. is there anything wow. else you could do? Mm-hmm. All right. What if you said, I have this many baskets, or I have this many apples, and I, they're in four baskets, and they're equal 32. Could you do that to solve it? Yeah. Okay, so does that solve any of your problems that are in front of you? Um, yeah. Okay, so which, which answers would you pick? I would pick A. 32 e divided F. by 4. Yeah, 32 divided by 4. Great. E and F. E is some number times 4 equals 32? Mm hmm. Okay, and F was 4 groups of some number equals 32? Yeah. Okay, what does not make yeah. sense in that one that you'd want to get rid of? Maybe the times one. The, 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 the F. The F, 4 times something equals 32, you have that. But I think oh. there's one more answer that you could try. Um... If you had 32 apples. Now I'm hungry for apples. And mm -hmm. they were in four baskets, mm -hmm. you'd need to find some number to get you there, wouldn't you? I would probably choose the, um, the num I mean B. B, right? So you have A, right? Yeah. You have B. Mm hmm You have C does not make sense because you have four divided by 32. Could we do that? Would that be I a said, whole number? I said B. I know. I, I'm saying, would C make make sense? Um. No. 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 It wouldn't no. be a whole number. So that couldn't be an answer. That's for those kids that don't understand that. And then you have E, a number divided by times four, and yeah. F, four times some number. So there you go. Those are your four possible solutions. That's a lot of stuff going on that there for some. That is a lot of stuff huh. going on. You know yeah. what? We should make some apple pie. Mm. Oh, yummy, yummy. Wait, wait. Aya, do you like apple pie? No. Ah! No. No. Oh, no. Oh, That's wait. okay. But you know what time it is? What? Time to drop the puck to pick oh, up Oh, time for your prize. Let's Are you it. ready, Aya? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what All you get. All right. Is apple pie on there? I hope not. She doesn't like it. Oh, thank gosh it's not on yeah. there. Yeah. Maybe right. she likes pumpkin pie, Ollie. Maybe. All right, All right, here so we go. All right, here go we for go. It. Find out what you win. <laughs> wow, the calculator. the calculator. That is cool looking calculator. Nice, the calculator. It awesome. Yeah, it looks like a bendy calculator. Bendy, it is. Bendy. Can't break that. You can put it in your back wow. pocket, Ollie. What? You can put that in your pocket. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah. Hey, thanks for calling. Bye. Oh. Wow, okay. that was awesome. Yeah. Now I'm hungry for apples now. Apples. apples. Okay, eggs. we'll try and get you some, Ollie. Okay. Okay. You guys, Ollie, do we you guys have ready another for another caller? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right. On the phone now, we have Jacqueline from Featherbed Featherbed Lane. I can't even say it right. You got it, Ollie. Featherbed. Jacqueline, she's in fourth grade. Hello. Hi, Hi Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. Hello. Hi, Jacqueline. How are you? Good. All right. You know what we're ready to do? Help you with your math. Let's okay. hear it. Okay. The problem says, Miss Gilmore has 40 scissors. She wants to organize them in, into baskets. How many different ways can she group the scissors so that each group has the same amount? That's a great question, Jacqueline. What are you guys working on right now? What's the topic? Um, multiplication. Okay, so we know we're going to be doing something with multiplication. Um, what do you think is going to be the most relevant or important information you have? 
that she is trying to organize to put an equal amount. Okay, I love that. Equal amount. She sounds very confident. She That's does. awesome. Good job. She knows what she's talking about. Yeah, I can right? already. You got this, Jacqueline. All right, what are, so what are we so what are we organizing into equal amounts? Um did you say scissors? I think it was scissors. Was it scissors? Yeah. scissors. I thought I heard yeah. scissors. Scissors, scissors in baskets? Yeah, that's what she said. Okay, scissors into baskets. So how many scissors do we have? Forty. Forty. Is what? that four four tens? That's a lot of scissors. Forty scissors is 40 a lot. Scissors. That was uh, a lot of money that yes. teachers spent on some four scissors. Ten. All right, I'm going to draw scissors because I can't spell the word. Wow. You're gonna draw forty pairs? Oh, oh just why? That's a nice pair of scissors, guy. Mr. Tang. Beautiful. All right. So we have 40 scissors, and what are we what are we doing with them? We have to divide them equally, so each group can get the same amount of scissors. Okay, so hmm. each group fair. has the same amount. I'm wondering something. Are you wondering? I'm wondering something, something too. I am. When is the pie ready? <laughs> That's that next, Ollie. We're silly. not we're not wondering about sorry, pies right I now. Like, I'm sorry. Sorry. So we have equal amounts. And we need to divide them. We know how many we have all together. Huh. So what information are we missing, Jacqueline? Um, are... I wonder how many baskets there are. Yeah, do, do we know how many baskets uh, there are? That's important. That's what we need yeah, to right? know. Important. How many baskets, Jacqueline? We don't, I don't know the number of numbers of baskets. Oh, so w I, we, I think what oh. we're trying to figure out or what are the factors Oh, so, so Jacqueline, can you, um, can you find the question within that problem? Yes. Um, the question says, um, how many different ways can she group the scissors so that each group has the same amount? Oh. All right. So so let's take a look at the information we have. So we, there's a lot that we're missing yes. that we can try to solve for. So if we have 40, we know that's how many we have as our total. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, have, we know that we're going to have the same amount. So same amount in each group, right? Hmm. Yes. So then what's that other piece of information that we're missing? We the have a total, answer, we have Mr. the same Tang. amount in each group. The number of groups. So I wonder, can there be more than one way to do this? I think that's what we're trying to find out. Is that what yeah. we're trying to find out, Jacqueline? Yeah, she said how many right. possibilities when how they have the same number. Okay, so, so Jack yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go. Jacqueline, where do you want to start with this? Do you want to start with, the? Uh, want to pick a number of groups that we can try to figure out is a working factor pair? Um. Jacqueline, can I give you a hint? Five or six. Five or six. Five or okay. six. That's a great, that's a great right. place to start. So what operation did you say we are using? Multiplication. Multiplication. Okay. Yep, that was it. Okay. So we have, we're going to be multiplying a number within the group times the number of groups. You want to try, let's try five. Okay. Yeah. So what strategies have you been using to find the factors? Have been um, tally marks. A anything else? Anything? Um, Base 10 blocks. Okay. Have you tried anything like um, skip counting to find multiples until you get to that number? I like no. to skip. Uh, well, I you tell you what. Counting? Let's try skip counting. Why don't you Yay. skip count by five and see if you get to 40? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, she's oh. good at that. You got to 40. She, she, okay. She did How it. many times did you have to skip count to get there? Five was one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times. Eight times. Right. So you there have you eight groups of five equals 40. So you can have eight baskets with five scissors in there? Yep. Or, or we could have f five baskets with eight. Was that what you just said? I had eight baskets with five in there. Yeah, or. Or five baskets four. with eight. eight. Okay. So there's two factor pairs we have right there. It's the same number, eight and five, but we can switch that depending on how many you want as your number of groups.
So Jacqueline, are you making a list of this as you go? Because that might be good to organize your information. So you organize those factor pairs. You have eight times five and five times eight. That's one down. That's one, uh, yeah, it's one pair yeah. down. Let's okay. try another one. It's 40 an even number. Hmm. hmm. It, it ends in a zero. There's a zero in the ones place. So do you think um, that's an yes. even number? Yes. So what do you know? What number works really good with even numbers? Um, you can cut it right in half. Two. 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 Okay, so if we had two, so Jacqueline, if we had two groups, okay, how many okay. scissors would be in each group? If you have 40 that you're starting with, mm. and you have two groups, you're splitting up into two groups, how many mm -hmm. would be in each? 20 in each. Good job. There you go. Wow, good job. Does 20 times 2 equal 40? Yes. Yeah. So just like we did with our last problem, if we have two groups, can we switch these numbers? Can we use the commutative yes. property? Yeah. Yeah, we can. So then how many groups would we have? We have 20 groups with how many scissors in each? If we have 20 baskets, 20? they'd be two. how many? Two. 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 Right. Okay. Did so you say one? Because I like that number also. Can we use one? Can we have one group of scissors? Let's try it. No. You couldn't have one group? Of, well, she did say to divide it. Yeah, she said divide. So I, I would have to go with, yep. Can't so I guess no, we yep. couldn't do one group of 40. No. Nope. She wants, actually wants us to work. But could you have one group of 40? Yeah. Technically. No, because each group needs an equal amount of scissors at their desk. Oh, at their desk. So. If it was just one student, we could probably do one group of. But what 40. if you had 40 baskets? What if you had 40? Yeah, 40 baskets. How many, how many scissors would be in there if you had 40 baskets? That could work. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Oh, All right, job, so, so far Jacqueline. we have five and eight. Do we want to make a list for her so we can tell absolutely. her what we're talking about there? So far we have five and eight as a factor pair. Mm -hmm. We have. 20 and 2. We have 1 and 40. Hmm. 40 is a multiple of 10, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Huh. Can we skip count by 10? Yes. Okay, skip count by can. 10 for us. 10. 20. 20. 30. 40. There you go. How many groups of 10 do you have there? Four. Four. So you had to skip count four times to get to 40, right? Yes. So four groups of four groups 10, of 10 equals 40. That's another factor pair you have now, babe. Yeah. Huh. Look at that. Do you think well, there's anything else? If you, um, if you skip there counting There is another problem. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. We're, we're, this one's pretty rocking. The, 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 stuff the, I think on. we got, so, it, it, so you, have fa you have your factor pairs now. You have five and eight, two, two. Yeah. 20 and 2, yes. 1 and 40, and mm -hmm. 4 and 10, correct? Yes. Okay, do we have any more? I'm trying to think 3. No, that wouldn't make sense. No, 3. I mean, Five, if we skip counted by 3, 3 times 10 is 30, 3 times right. 9. So oh. I'd still, I, would, I wouldn't get there. Times so that 12, doesn't make sense no. to try that. It so I think, I think we have them all. I think all. you guys covered Jacqueline. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got a list it. here. Yeah. Good list. Good and work. if there are more, please let us know. Yeah. And Jacqueline, do you know, is Featherbed Lane made out of Ollie's feathers? Oh. Uh -huh. My feathers? No. No, Miss Hague. Oh. Silly question. That is so silly. My feathers are on my head. Okay. That's right. I was just wondering. Feathers. All right, Jacqueline, are you ready to pick a prize? Top two. Jump up, pick, yes. pick a prize. All, All right. right. Here All right, we go. Jacqueline. Oh, let's see what it's going to be. Here it goes. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, another calculator. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. Beautiful. Jacqueline, thank you so much for calling. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Jacqueline. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Wow, Bye. that was fun. That was awesome. That was really good. That was a hard problem. Yeah. Lots hey, of was. answers. Hey, Polly, do we have any other callers? Yeah, we do. You ready? Yeah. Can we talk to them? Okay. So right now we have Amber from Norwood. She's in third grade. Hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. Amber. Wow. How are you, Amber? Good. Good. Do you have a problem for us today? Huh? Do you have a problem for us today? Yep. Okay. Math what is time. it, babe? Time for the math and 
Math time. Let's do it. Math homework. All right. Do you? I, I have it in front of me. I think. Do you have it in front of you? Yes. Okay. So, uh, do you want to read it? Yeah, I can read it. Okay. It says, Lariah baked 24 cookies. Put the cookies into two arrays and write the equation that represents them using by distributive property of multiplication. Ooh, I like the distributive property. Okay, so tell me, what do we know about this problem? Um, it has 24 cookies. We have 24 Wait. cookies. That's Did you say cookies? We did cookies. Cookies. I wonder if they're I apple so. cookies. No, oh. I think they're chocolate chip, ah. chocolate chip cookies. Mm. I, love them. I love those. Sorry, calm down. Okay, I, calm down. So okay. if we're talking Focus. about two arrays that we have to divide it into, we need to have at least how many arrays? Um, two arrays. Well, in order to, for us to break it into two, it needs to be in. Mm. It needs to be in one array right now, right? Yeah. What's the array that you see? Can you can you tell me? Um. It's a three by what array? Eight. Three by eight array. Two, three. Wait, are these four, raised cookies? Five, six. Because I want one. Eight. I'll ask. I them. said array. Hey, array. An I array are equal groups of the same number. Those are some strange I, cookies. So those cookies those are some. Those, those are my Halloween cookies. They're X like cookies. little. They're little scary. All right. X marks a spot okay. in my Cross belly. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. I think Molly's hungry. All right, Amber. So if we need to divide them into two erase, where would you like me to divide it? Where would you like to divide it? Do you want to make a line down vertically or horizontally? Um, down vertically. Vertically. Do you want? Where would you like it to go after the first, first one, second one, third one? Where would you like me to put it? Fourth one. The fourth one. I like that number wow, because it seems like it's half of another number. Okay. So. It's what do we have here? What is this array here? Um, Ollie's cookies. Twelve cookies. Okay, but what? What's the? It, it, there's twelve in all, right? But if we were going to write it as a multiplication problem, what is the first factor? How many? How many rows do you have? Or how many columns do you have? Three rows. You have three columns and how many rows? Ooh. Where's the three? How many, how many are each? How many in each row? <coughs> so you have three times four, right? Yeah. Plus you have another set here, and also Polly's cookies. No, no, also no. Those cookies. are Polly's cookies. And ah. you have another three rows with how many in each row? Um, there is four in each row. Four in each row. Watch so out, you Lee's have, and let's make sure one, two, three by one, two, three, four. Three by four, and check this one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Another three by four. So that is one way to use a distributive property to solve for that array. Yeah. Okay. Do Do you have any other questions, or do you want to try it a different way? Mm. I have a question. Okay. Where are the cookies now? Um, I I think Amber's making them for you. Oh, oh Amber! Yeah. Amber, you're making us cookies. We can't wait to eat the oh. cookies, Amber. I'm so excited. She's so sweet, Amber is isn't so nice. she? Oh, she's so she's sweet. So, she so knows nice. I love cookies. Me too. And apple pie. Mm. Uh, we love them I love both. Pumpkin pie. All right, Amber. I'll eat that too. Are okay. you ready to do what I think we're oh, ready for? Oh, you ready? You ready, Amber? It's time to My drop part the, of the puck show. to pick a prize. The puck wheel. Do do do. Man, that calculator is on point today. Wow. Wow. Another calculator. Way that is to so go. Cool. Amber, you got a calculator. We're so glad you called in. All yeah, right. Goodbye, Amber. Amber. Bye, Call Amber. back next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Man, Amber was fun. Yeah, I she's going to be bringing cookies by I later. I hope she does. I wonder if they're going to be chocolate chip, you think? I hope so. You think I, so? I don't even Polly, care. I know those are your favorite. I just like cookies. Yeah. Okay. Any kind of cookie. The for best Ollie? kind of cookie. You guys want to know what the best kind of cookie is? What kind? The one in your bag. A bath? free cookie. Oh, Ooh. I like homemade free best cookies. Yeah. How about a free, warm, homemade cookie? <gasps> the whole shebang, all together. That's even better. I like that. That sounds all so right. good. Hey, all right. guess Maybe what, we should get Ollie? back to work. Should we get back to work? Maybe a little oh, bit. Oh, I guess. Because I think okay. somebody's calling. We right. gotta go talk to the cookies. Us. Get here. That's true. Yeah. That's true. All right. You ready? Does anybody, do we have any callers? Yes, we do. Okay. Who do we have, Polly? It's Jennifer from Norwood. And she's in third grade too. Oh my gosh, Hi, Jennifer, Jennifer. Nord. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. How are Hi. you? 
I'm good. Hey, Jennifer, we might share our cookies with you. Yeah, maybe, maybe. 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 <laughs> maybe. Jennifer, is your lunch. problem about cookies also? Okay. <laughs> is your problem also about cookies? No. No. Oh, what's your, oh, what's your question about? It's about flowers. Flowers. Oh, you guys like flowers? Much. They smell so good. Can you good. eat those? I mean, you, you can, can eat those. You, can. you I, can eat flowers. I'm a bird. I eat flowers. You, you yeah. can eat them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Jennifer, what's the problem? Um, so, it says, it says, just planted the flowers bed below. Answer the question using the picture. Wow, so there's a this, picture. Which statement matches the array? Okay. Uh, so, like, A, there's three rows of six flowers. Okay, J Jennifer, I know you, I don't want to get you ahead of yourself because our other viewers can't, can't see it. Can you describe the array that's in front of you? So that we can show uh, it here too. The array has um, six rows. Okay, six and, rows. And three columns. And three columns. Okay, so that's six rows with three in each row. Six rows, three columns. Got it. Okay. Are those flowers? They're the best I can do. <laughs> those are beautiful. Thank you. I'd eat them. They look like blue pansies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blue Ooh, pansies. Okay, okay. That's, they're blue pansies. Right. There you go. All right, Jennifer, what do we want to do with uh, our array here? Um, um, so it's not like um, the material property. It's like, um, like, the, like the, and the questions are, is it A, three rows of six flowers, B, 18, ro 18 rows of three flowers? 18 or rows? Two? Yeah. That's a lot of flowers. <laughs> or C, Six rows of flowers or D? Six rows of 18 flowers. Man. All right, so what do you know so far about this picture? I mean, you were describing it in rows uh, and columns. Um, wait, what did you say? Yeah, yeah what did you say? I'm not sure. Uh, I said <laughs> you were describing it in rows and columns when you were describing how to draw this picture. So do you remember what you said to describe this array to us? Because she kind of gave um, you her answer she when did, she described she it. That was awesome. Like the describe is like three rows um, of three. What? Wait, wait, three columns and when, six rows. When okay. you described it to us, you said that there are six rows with three in each row, didn't you? Yeah. And then you said there is, and then you said six rows with with three columns. So to me. I think you described it right away, and if we label it, look at look at what you have. Uh oh. <laughs> so you knew what you were doing right away. All you had to do was describe it. That's why we model. Yeah, that's, that was a great way for you just to speak out and just hear yourself out, and you were able to s pretty much solve it on your own. I'm good at speaking out. Yes, you, you are. Sure are. Yes, you are. Out of turn. I, I <laughs> you're loud. I was just, I was confused about like. Three rows of six and the six rows of three. Yeah, this is probably one of the more commonly mis uh, commonly wrong answers that are yes. up here because just like you said, a lot of students probably get confused with the rows and the columns. You, it was great for you to kind of, even even when as you were describing it, you were able to kind of hear yourself describe it correctly. Good job, great Jennifer. Great job, Jennifer. Yeah. yeah we, still job. Have, we still have the same amount of flowers. Yes. But if we're describing what we see, then that's what it is. If we turn uh, it on its side, it might be different. It, it might be different. You're I can right. do that. <laughs> Wait, sorry, that's Polly. Ah, oh, okay. I'm on my side. <laughs> right. Jennifer, does that help? Yes. Oh, yes. Right. Good job, Jennifer. Do All you right. know what it's time for? I know, I know. Time for your prize. I'm going Jennifer. crazy. I'm going rogue here. You okay, think, you think we'll get a different thing from calculator? I'm trying it. Oh, different column. What's it going to be? Oh. oh. Fuzzy uh, highlighter. Fuzzy yeah. highlighter. She was gonna, she's gonna, everyone's going to want this at school. Yes. I'm just going to say. What? Everyone, what say? I, I'm, everyone's going to want that. I'm going to oh, say it yeah. again, though. I'm Hold on that. to that, kiddo, because so that's cute. yours. He's very I, happy. It's really cute. Right, thanks so for calling, Jennifer. Thanks for Bye, calling. Bye, Jennifer. Bye. Hey, guys, we have anyone else calling in? Oh, we yeah. Do. You guys ready? Yeah, you guys I guess ready? so. Okay. So we're going to have a cookie break. Oh, uh, wait, are they ready yet? No, oh, not uh, yet. Okay. Maybe after the show we can get cookies. <gasps> can okay. we do that, Mr. Tang? I'm down for cookies. You guys go okay. with that. 
Oh, All right. We're cookie gonna party. Cookies, okay. okay. That sounds cookie fantastic. Party. All right. So let's get to our next caller. Who okay. is it? Okay. It's Namie from Wellwood. Namie's in fourth grade. Hi, Namie. Hi, Namie. Hi, Namie. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Do you have a problem for us tonight or question? Oh. Oh. Wow. Amy, are you still there? Did you lose Namie? That, was a, there? that was a good impression of a phone dial. It was. Namie, you still there? There you go. Oh, there we go. Hello. Uh -oh. Hello. Hi, Namie. Oh. Hi. How are you? Oh, she's there. Good. Good. Do you have a problem for us today? Yes. Okay. Ava has 4,789 leaves in her pile. Her dad raked 1,895 more leaves into her pile. How many leaves does she have now? Okay, can you uh, tell me the first number again? 4,789. 4, 89? Yes. Leaves? Yes. That's a lot of leaves. A lot of leaves. That's that, a lot that's of leaves. Dad's got a lot of time on his hands. So that was, that was one pile? Yes. And then she, she raked again? Her dad raked 1,895 more leaves into her pile. How many leaves does she have now? A lot of leaves. So, okay, okay. So she added, did she add to the pile? Yes. Okay. So she had, they had 4,789. Yeah. And they're adding 1,895. Yes. Yes. Okay. So they're adding it, they're combining it. How would you like to do it? How have you been practicing it? Yeah. Have you been uh, breaking it apart? Have you been using place value? Have you been using the algorithm? What is your favorite way to do it? I like to put it in columns and then regroup. Okay, so you like to use a plain old algorithm then. That's what you like to do. Yeah. Okay. So hey, let's... Amy, just leave it up to us to help you. <laughs> oh, you get Amy, that? I, that's good. Well, sort of. Could okay. be better. There that's we go. And I'm, I'm going to do it. That's like a that. great leaf pile. Thank I you. love that leaf mm -hmm. pile. Okay. Don't let it blow away. All right. Okay, so Amy, what's the first thing you would do? Uh, Amy, so what's the first thing you would do? You would add the nine and five together. And so that's, what place is that? The ones? You're going to start in the ones column? Yes? Yes. Okay. So Great what's nine plus five? 14. That's 14. So we have, there's only one four, uh, one four and one, uh, four, one four and one ten. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. You tell me. One on the eight. I'm sorry? You put the one on the eight. One is on the eight, so I regroup that over. Okay. So now I have one ten, eight tens, and nine tens. So what are you going to do together? You're going to add them together? Yes. Are you going to add 9 plus 1 and make 10 and add 8 more? Or are you going to do 1 plus 8 equals 9 plus 9 more? Plus 8 equals 9. Okay, so you like 9 plus 9. Okay, so that is how much? 9 plus 9. 18. 18, okay. So what am I going to do? Can I fit two, two numbers in that column? Just put this 8. I'm just going to put the 8, okay. And then I had one more up here, right, which is now 100. Now what should I do? 8 plus 8, and then that's 100. 8 plus, 8, oh, see, 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 8 is how much? 16. 16. Yep. 600 and 1,000. Wow. Anything else? Are we ready? Yeah, and then you're going to. One plus four is five. Five plus one is six. So your total should be six thousand six hundred eighty-four. That is a lot of leaves. Yes. A lot of leaves. I like that the numbers just fell. Oh, uh, oh like leaves. That's like leaves. fall leaves. Yep, you that's good. That's Come on, good. guys. Where are and you on this? Down. Okay. Where's okay. my laugh track? Uh -huh. All right. Naomi, does number. that help? Yes. Okay, Naomi. Hey, Naomi, hey, do you want to go outside and count 6,684 leaves? Could you do that? <gasps> I bet she could oh, do no. it. I wonder how long it would take her. Yeah, how long and would that take? Wow. Oh, Probably wow. a while, right? Okay. An hour. I bet she could do it, though. An hour? Okay. I bet she could do it. So I bet you on Halloween night she's going to stay in and she's going to count the leaves. Oh, and she's oh going no, out. I'll nah. be counting candy. Nah, I bet Naomi's counting candy, too. You could count candy. Count candy. Hey, Naomi, guess what it's time for? 
Time for your prize! Let's drop that puck! Let's see where it goes. Maybe she'll get Here a calculator to help count our leaves. <laughs> oh! The earbuds! Oh, great! Mamie, we're Ooh. so glad you called. Call back later, okay? Okay. Bye bye. Right. Bye, bye, Mamie. Bye. All right, bye. earbuds. Good one. Wow. Yeah, that so was, now we have three you different prizes that so far. What? Three different prizes now. That's so oh, exciting. No. Okay, there's only one left to get. I hope somebody Ooh. gets it. Ooh. What is it? What is it? Which one? Water it's bottle. Water bottle. Oh, the water, water bottle. bottle. Yeah, Ollie, your favorite. I love water bottles. So Ollie wants terrible. some water. Mm -hmm. He does. Right. Hey, well, you guys know what it's time for? Uh, what is it time for? I don't know. You tell us. I, I think it's time July. for math on the street. Math on the street. You know we use math in so many ways in life, not just in math class. So let's head out to the streets to find out what's going on in our classrooms. To the streets. To the streets. Yay! Math on the street. Hola, yo soy Maria, and I love math. Here at BCBS, we use math every day, everywhere, and in every office and school. Come with me, I'll show you how. Today, I'm here at Warren Elementary in La Infant Maria, which is the nurse's suite, with Mrs. Melito. Hola, Mrs. Melito. Hola, Maria. Can you tell me how you use math as a nurse? Sure, I use math all day long in the health suite. When kids are sick, they come to visit me. First, I have to take their vital signs. I have to read my thermometer measuring their body temperature. I have to count how many times their heart beats in a minute to come up with their heart rate. I have to count how many times they breathe in a minute to come up with their respirations. If I need to give them medication, I have to weigh them and then I have to calculate how many grams of medication they need per pound. For instance, if they weigh 50 pounds, I have to then calculate 50 pounds times the amount of grams I want to give them per pound to come up with the dosage. I also use math to collect data. I fill out a tally sheet at the end of each day to see how many students I saw and what kind of illnesses they had. That way I can look for trends in illnesses and prepare for an outbreak like with the flu or uh, do some preventive measures if I see we're having a lot of injuries at our school. I also use math to stock my health suite, estimating how many ice packs I need based on how many ice packs I used in the days before. I also have to calculate how many supplies I need for my health suite based on how many students I have at my school. As you can see, Maria, I couldn't do my job as a school nurse without math. Wow, well thank you so much for sharing. Sure, thanks for coming. Adios. Adios. Two. Hey, and we're back with Amaya, is it? Yeah. Hi, Amaya. Hi, Amaya. Hello. Hello. Amaya's from Newtown Elementary School. Ooh. She's in fourth grade. Ooh. I love fourth grade. That's my new favorite grade. Yeah? Amaya, it's what your question do you have for us today? We have fat sandwich for my homework, multiplication and division. Woo okay. It's a multiplication division yeah, multiplication party today. And division. Okay. okay. For my factors, we have one of them is seven and nine, and we have to find out the product. So you have seven, seven. and nine, and you have to find the product. product. Okay. Okay. Where do you want to start with that? We can start off with seven because I'm, I'm good at it. Okay. Okay. Walk us through I like it. that confidence. Yeah. Put it the yeah. sevens. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we're going to start with the 7. What do you want to do with the 7? We have to times it. Well, you have to count by 7 until you get to 9. Okay, we can skip count by 7 until we get to 9. Okay, until we get to 9 groups of 7. 9 groups. Yeah. yeah. That makes yes. sense. Okay, just, just confirming. Okay, because we never get to 9 if we count by 7. No, okay. 7 and... That okay. doesn't mean you shouldn't try. You, that's true. You should try. 7, 14. Okay, I just okay, tried. You missed it. Meh, yeah, you tried. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> So let's, let's hear it, baby. Go ahead. 714. 28. 38. Uh, 41. Mm, almost. 35 plus 5 is 40 plus 2 more is 42. There you go. 42. Okay. Plus 7 more. 49. There you go. How many do we have so far? 
Why don't we count? Two, we have five, three, six, four, five. We have six, seven, so we seven. need two more groups. Fifty-one. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh no. Yeah, I like how you second guessed yourself. Yeah, let's double check that. So 59, 49 plus seven. 51, 52, 50, 53, 54, 55. Almost there. 56, 56. 56, 56. good, okay. that's a nice job. Good okay. job. Right. Now break that seven into a four and a three. 56 plus four gets you to 60. Mm. Plus oh, three more. 63. There you go. 63. 63. There's a lot going on there. There is a lot going on. Oh, our product is 63. Yes, 63. you go. Your Yay. product is 63. Good work, Amaya. That was a nice strategy, too. Yeah, that was a good strategy. Yeah, counting by sevens is hard. Yeah, it is hard. That's hard stuff. I like counting by twos. Two, four, seven. You don't have to do it. Oh. Not okay, now. Okay, maybe later. Hey, yeah. I know what we can do now. What? Then how about if we drop the puck that we have oh. the price for? Oh. 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 Are you ready, babe? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, I'm go. I'm gonna go over here. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? What? <laughs> butter, butter. Hey, there it is. Finally, you got the butter, butter. I don't know if we've ever given out all four before. This no. is very exciting. I don't think so. I don't think so. It's either. so. It's so much fun. Whoa. I Yay. love giving these away. <laughs> Amaya, thank you so much for calling. Thanks for calling, Talk Amaya. To you later. Bye bye. 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 Boy, we're making history here. I know, and we she was are. so happy. Never giving really out happy. all the prizes. She's so nice. That's wonderful. Hey, we have another caller, you guys. Wow. You guys are you ready? ready? All right, who's on the phone, Polly? <laughs> it's Haiti from Featherbed Lane. Hello. Hi, Haiti. Hey, Haiti. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you doing, Haiti? Good. Good. Oh, hey, do you, do you have a little brother or sister there with you? Yes. Yeah. They sound excited. So, um, I got a um, problem. Okay. That my cousin did too, but there was another part to that problem. Okay. Ooh. So someone was missing a part? Yes. Okay. Okay, why don't you walk me through the first part? Because sometimes we need to know the first part before we can so do the second part. So the first part, part says... Miss Gilmore had 40 scissors that she wants to organize into a basket. Here come the scissors. How many different ways can she group the scissors so that each group has the same amount? Okay. So were you watching? Did your cousin call earlier? Yes. Okay. And so what? It, what do you remember what we did with her? So um, we, we found... We used different strategies. To, um, that equal 40. Mm -hmm. Do you remember any of the factor pairs we used? Um, five times eight. Okay. We had five and eight, yep. yes. Yep. That's right. Two times 20. Yep. Yep. One times 40. Someone sure. was taking notes. And Four times ten. Absolutely. So those are your factor pairs. Absolutely. To make yes. 40. Okay. So that was the first part. Yes? And so now there's a second, there's another part to that question now? Yes. Okay. It, oh, but there was also a different part. Okay. Let's hear it. Let's wow. hear it. So, okay. So the part about the 40 scissors was the middle part. The first part says... Miss Gilmore has 80 scissors, 80 glue sticks. 80 glue, 80 glue sticks. sticks. Okay. That she wants to organize into bins. Okay. She can't decide how to organize them because she knows there's a lot of different ways to divide 80 objects into equal groups. Okay. How many different ways can she group the glue sticks so that each group has the same amount. Okay. So it's it's kind of the same strategy we did with the 40. So we're going to use it like the same way we did with that. Do you want to try it that way? Yes. Okay. So what would I do first? You could um 
do 40 times 2? Absolutely. Yep. 80 is a nice even number, so we know it's going to be divided by 2. So 40 divided by 2. Oh, 40 times 2. Sorry. Not divided. Times 2 there equals you go. 80. There it is. All right, so you have 40 and 2 is a factor pair. All right. What's a definite definite one? You have 80 different bins. How many would be in there? Um, 80 bins. 80 times so what number equals 80? One. Yeah. One. So Good 80 one. and 1. So now you have 1 covered. You have 2 covered. So think to yourself, what number times what number equals 8? So just think about that. Don't even think about it. It's 80 Five right now. 3. I'm sorry? 5 plus 3? Well, 5 plus 3 is 80 is, would, 8 would be the sum of 5 plus 3, but we're using multiplication. Oh. So we couldn't use 3, right? No. So can we use 4? We just did, yeah. right? Okay. How about 5? Uh, no, because 5 plus 4 is 9 and our total is 80. But can we have 5 groups of something to get us 80? Yes. Okay, what could we have? We could have five groups of... You know what? You didn't do four. Fifteen? You skipped four. We, skipped did, four. we did 40. Oh, we did 40. I'm yeah. sorry. We did. I am so sorry, sweetie. That yes. got all the bases. Yes, we could do four. Good so eye. I'm sorry, babe. So we can do four groups of... See, I pay attention sometimes. You do. Good thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that's what pre pretty precise. Thank you for... Yeah. Constructing an yeah. argument for me. I'm awesome. Good um, job. So what? Four times what number would get you eight? Four plus four. Four times what number? Four groups of what number would get you eight? Four. Four times twenty. What? Well, four times twenty gets you eighty exactly. Just like four yeah. times two gets you um, eight. Okay. Work, so we have. That's what. What am I doing? 1 and know. 80, you have 40 and 2, you have 4 and 20, right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Anything else can we try? You were on 5. Six. Um, 6 plus 6, six 60 plus 20? 60 plus 20 does equal 80, but remember we're dividing into groups. So we're going to be using multiplication to solve division. Okay. okay. That's not confusing. Just a little. How about, can we, can you skip count by, Did you oh, do five? I don't know, five? Yes. Okay. So if you skip counting by five to get to 80, how many times do you have to skip count by five? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Okay, good at that. So I'm, I'm going to stop at 40 because I'm going to show you that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups, right? But what do we know about 40 yes. times 2 is 80, right? Yes? yes. So just double the number of groups. What's double 8? What's double 8? Eight. 16. 16. Yep. Good job. Yes. So you would have 5 times 16 would get you to 80 as well. So now you have 5 and 16. Okay. Could we keep going? We need a bigger board. We, I need, we're going right? to need a bigger board. Bigger board. Bigger board. We love that. Okay. How about 6? Mm. If, if you, if you, like, you know 6 times 10, right? What's six times ten? Sixty. Sixty. Can you can you count by sixes from sixty and see if you hit eighty? So next would be sixty-six. Twelve. Okay, so 18? twelve. Eighteen. So sixty plus eighteen gets you to seventy-eight, right? Yes. Can you possibly get to eighty from there, with ca mm. counting by by sixes? Yes. Counting by sixes, you're at fifty-eight. No, no. no you can't. Yes. No. Nope. Maybe. <laughs> No. I like your no. indecisiveness. Because, yes, because no, yes, no, yes, no. 78 no. plus 6. You're at 78. If you have 6 more, that gets you to 80. 84. 
84. Mm. 84. So 84 skipped 80. So 7 can't be a factor. And no. can't, I'm sorry? 7 um, can't. I have a question. Okay. Um, my question is, so if we skip count by 7, we still won't get the same answer? You won't land on 80, correct. Because you know what 7 times yeah. 10 is. 7 times 10 is 70. 70, so right. So then skip count by 7 after that. So 70 plus 7 is 77. 77. Plus 7 more. You would skip over 80, yeah. right? Hey, what about the number yes. 8? So that can't be a factor. Yeah, eight. We, let's try number 8. Are we you try sure? Eight? I don't know how 8 and 80 go together. Oh, I think they do. I, I am not do. so sure about that. Yes, I do. I bet Haiti knows. Ooh. Haiti, what do you think about that? Do you know something that belongs right there? Um, uh, a, a 1. Uh, well, okay, well, 8 uh, times a 1 is 8. 8 times 1 is 8. Uh, so okay. if 8 times 1 is 8, then 8 times... I think ten. She said it. ten is eighty. Good. So now you have eight and ten. There's a lot of answers to that problem. There, there are. are. Wow. So there's only one more that could possibly you can even possibly try. But is that going to make sense? If we go to nine, if we know that nine times ten is ninety, right? Yes. If you minus nine, it gets you to. 81, right? No. And that's not so, And that's not 80, yes. so that can't possibly be an answer. So I think you might have all your factor pairs because you've tried 1, 2, 3, 4. We went all the way up to, uh, to 10. Put that 8 and 10 up there and draw a big box around it. 8 and the 10, what? Yeah, your, your last pair. With all your, With answers, all your answers up by there. By the leaves. Oh. By the leaves. Oh, the leaves. Yeah, your answers. See the answers? Never mind. Am I, that box am I messing this up? Here. Oh, Never mind. box there. Okay, okay. I was just sorry. trying to make the answer nice and clear on there. That's okay. all. There's a okay. lot going on. All right. So we um, have 40 and 2, right? Yes. Okay. And you have 80 and 1. There you go. Yes. Okay. And you have 4 and 20. Yep. Five yes. And, yes. and 5 and 16. Yep. Eight and, 10. and 8 and 10. There we go. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I think I, you have all the factors pair, factor pairs for 80. Yes. But um, this, both of the problems that, um, the problem that my cousin did and this problem that we just solved is now another problem that we have to solve. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. Are we Let's, ready? It says. Let's go. Yes. The problem says, what relationship do you notice about the size of the group if we if the supplies were arranged into four groups in both questions one and two okay so okay. four groups so what this if one. the supplies were arranged into eight groups Okay, so are you, uh, so there's two different questions there, right? So if you had 40 into eight groups, is that what you're asking? Speed version. Um, yeah. Yes, okay. And if we look back at our factor pairs, we said that uh, 40 and eight was five, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, because yes. it's 40 and then it's also 80. Right, so, so yeah. So if we go back here, we have 40 divided by 8, and we have 80 divided by 8. Look at that. Right? Is that what we're looking at? So going, yeah. back to what, going back to our previous work, we know that 40 divided by 8 was 5, and we know that 80 divided by 8 was 10. Hmm. So, so what what's does that, that mean? relationship? Yeah, so what does that mean okay. for our baskets? If we have eight groups, how many if scissors? We, I think the relationship... Um, with these two numbers is where, like, skip counting by five. Okay, and I think, what, what do you know about five and ten? How do they go together? Because um, five is half of ten. Yep, and 40 is half of? 20. 80. 40 is half of 80. There we go. Okay. All you right. Did it. Let's pick Time. a prize, kiddo. Here right, we go. Honey. Time for a prize. Time yes. to drop the book. Let's see it. Where's it going to go? <gasps> Calculator. Oh, another
calculator. Oh, there you go. Calculator. Okay. Thank you, hey, Colin. I have a question. Oh, oh, honey. What you got? Can you make it What's quick? Up? Can you make it super quick, baby? Okay, the question is, I call next, if I call next Wednesday, I can call every other Wednesday, too? You can call any Wednesday you any want. Any Wednesday. Yes, all the Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Thanks for calling, Heidi. Bye. Thank we have you. another You're caller. welcome. Guys, we don't have a ton of time. You think we can get one more we in? Oh. Let's try to get one Let's more try. in. Let's try. Speed okay. math. Let's go, Ollie. Okay, on the phone now, we have Lael from Franklin. He's right. in fifth grade. Hello. Hey, Lael. Hey. Hi. Thanks How are you? Lael. Lael, you there? Lael. It's Leo. Sorry. Lael. 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 Oh, Lael. Lael. sorry, bud. Lael. Lael. Are you there? Hi. Hi. Thanks for calling. Hi. 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 How We're are ready you? For your what's, best your, what's your question, bud? Hi. Can you turn your TV down okay. for us, please? Lael, can you turn? Can you turn your TV down? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, all right. Do you have a question? My question is: Volunteers for a science museum. Spent an afternoon collecting insects that in in the science measurements. At releasing each insect, they're able to know both their data. I Good can luck. tell you the table. Okay, so we're talking about data. Is that what you said? They they spent a day collecting insects, and they have to put it into into Something a table. Something about a science museum. <laughs> can you say it again slowly? So, the table below shows their data. Use the information in the table to order and compare. Okay, so we can't see the table. Yeah. Ah, that's so, gonna be tough. I'll show you it. Okay, you can try and describe it. If, if we can understand it, we can, we can give it a shot, yeah, okay? Yeah, let's try to, describe, try to describe it to us. Let's hear it. Okay, what kind of table is it? So, it's, um, it's... Does it have I columns? I don't know what kind of table it is. Okay, does it have um, categories along the top? Huh? Does it have categories of insects or anything? Yeah, it has categories of insects. Okay, what are they? Um, bumblebee, common dragonfly, a forest stop grasshopper, um, and the, is a female, and then another forest stop grasshopper, which is a male, and then a milgrim, um, helper drag, then fly female, and then the milgrim, helper, dragonfly, male. Okay, so okay. we well, have a bumblebee, a dragonfly, and we have different kinds of grasshoppers. Hey, can I just say something? If we run out of time, Leo, for any reason, you'll still get a prize for calling, okay? But we're trying our best. Good job, Ali. Just want to throw that out there. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Leo, so we have a bumblebee, a dragonfly, and then we have different types of grasshoppers? Yeah. Okay, and so we have a male grasshopper, a female grasshopper? Yeah. And what else? And it tells their masses and grams. Oh, masses and grams. Masses and grams. Okay. Oh, okay. So we, uh, we won't be able to really help you because we can't see the graph, but maybe we can help you try to solve it. What's the question asking you? What yep. are you doing with that table? Um, which has more mass, the pecan, butterfly, or the rest? Our mom, butterfly, but I don't need help on the. Okay. Oh, so, so you don't need help, need help on the. On, um, the second one, complete camera. Three in a table, order the masses from greatest to least, what's the rank of one of the greatest mass? Okay, what's the, what's the, what is it from greatest to least? So you're gonna look, you're gonna yeah. look at your place value, okay? Okay. So st start, start at, at, your, at your largest place value and work from there, okay, babe? Hey, you know what, I hate to cut okay. you off, but we're out of time. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, right, gonna, I'm gonna get capitalize get right. for you. Leo, oh, we're so another sorry. We ran out of time, water but you bottle. Won a prize. Bye, Leo. Thank you for calling. Bye, babe. Yeah, sorry to cut you off, but man, wow. time flies when you're doing math. Bye. Bye. Just remember place value.
Okay, well, holy cow. Yeah, that flew by. <laughs> That's all the time we have uh, for this episode, so be sure to turn in next week. Tune in next week. And remember, we do re-air each episode, so be sure to watch. We look forward to seeing everybody again next time. Only, Only here, here on BTS TV. TV.